Hi everyone. I wanted to make a quick video showing how to remove gray hair using Adobe Photoshop Lightroom Classic. I searched around on the internet for quite a while on a proper way to do it and I could not really find anything. So I thought I would share a technique I figured out through trial and error. If you do not have Lightroom Classic, I am sure the same can be done with similar tools in a different photo editing app. So just zooming in here, you can see where the gray hair is apparent. I'm just going to press backslash on the keyboard to show the after of the quick work I did. And we can see it, it's still, you can still see a few grays, but overall it made the majority disappear. I'm just pressing backslash a few more times so you can see the distinct difference between the before and after. So I'm going to press the reset button here and go through the steps I did to get to that final stage. Uh, the first step, if I were to open up a new photo, would be obviously to identify where the gray hairs are. So in this case, we can see there are a few individual strands at the front, as well as uh, there is an area along the side with a few gray hairs. This specific photo was taken with a full frame camera, which has captured a wide range of color shades in its raw format. So I can maybe spot a few more by doing a few adjustments with the sliders. So for example, I'll bring the exposure down and yeah, that makes the one at the front really stand out. Maybe I'll also raise the contrast up. And as I do that, we can actually see it shows uh, one at the back, uh, the top back here to be quite apparent. So I'll just undo that. And the next step would be to isolate these gray shades from the rest of the image using a mask. In this case, I will make a new luminance range mask and select a gray hair on my head. The upper and lower fall offs, as well as the luminance range, can be adjusted accordingly to ensure only the gray hair shades are contained and the rest of the hair is unaffected. Since I have a dark ash brown hair color, I can slide the luminance range to the highest brightness and not worry about my natural hair being affected. Next, a brush mask is going to be intersected by right clicking the luminance range mask and clicking intersect mask with brush. This will ensure that any parts of the image that have the same luminance range of the selected gray hairs, such as the middle hinges of the door, will be unaffected. The final step is to make adjustments to gray hairs that have been isolated using the two intersected masking tools. There are countless ways to do this, but I personally bring the exposure, highlights, and blacks down a bit to make the gray shades less apparent. I do not want to make it too over the top, as I want it to still look natural. While I am making these adjustments, I will sometimes go back to my luminance range and brush masks to also make further adjustments. Tapping the backslash key, which compares before and after, we can see the immediate result of the edits. I only spent a couple of minutes working on the photo, and it obviously is not perfect, but I doubt anyone seeing this edited photo for the first time would notice the artificial changes. I am sure much more natural results can be yielded with a bit more time and precision carried out. Anyway, thanks for watching. Ever since the age of 17, I have always had a subtle amount of gray hair, which would appear rather distracting at certain angles. I hope this video has helped. If you would like more tutorials like this, especially around masking, feel free to leave a comment down below. Take care.